today in this video we are going to discuss about carrier diffusion so if you remember we had discussed uh, the mechanisms those are responsible for the conduction of current one is carrier drift and the other is carrier diffusion carrier drift is because of the application of external electric field because of which the majority charge carrier will move right uh, for example, holes will move in the direction of the applied electric field and electrons uh, will move opposite to the applied electric field and they it will constitute a current, right? So that is known as the drift current. Okay. Now what happens in the diffusion? So as you, as you can see, what is diffusion? So diffusion is the process where uh, particles flow from a region of high concentration to low concentration. High concentration to low concentration, the particle flows. So now here, when we uh, when we are talking about the transport mechanism of electrons, right? So there are two different ways we said one is drift and the diffusion. So transport mechanism one is uh, in terms of applied electric field and mobility we discussed. Now here we are uh, talking about uh, the concentration gradient. So what do you mean by concentration gradient? So concentration gradient means the value of concentration of electrons or holes at different points will be different for example here suppose i will take this is one dimensional we are considering okay so this is um, you know here you can see the distance you can see right and the concentration of electrons for example here if i will take right you so the concentration gradient suppose we considered this this way a linear variation of concentration electron concentration with respect to distance right then you can uh, randomly take any frame uh, of uh, I mean cross sectional plane suppose x is equal to 0 here I consider x equals to 0 right and then here somewhere uh, this uh, distance I will consider x is minus l and some uh, this is x is equal to plus l right. So here you can see as the concentration is varying with respect to distance and I showed you a linear variation here you can see that. So the respective concentrations at uh, these uh, positions x is minus l x is 0 and x is plus l can be shown as n minus l suppose the value n 0 here the concentration of electron okay and n plus l is the value over here okay so now here when you are going to find out the um, current okay you need to see take a reference plane that i took x is equal to 0 for example here you can see this x is equal to 0 is our uh, plane of reference right suppose uh, this plane if i will consider as the reference plane then how many electrons net electrons actually crossing this x is equal to 0 so number of electrons crossing this number of electrons crossing this plane okay what is the plane here x is equal to 0 is the sorry x is equal to 0 is the plane right so how to find out how many electrons will actually pass this particular plane so for this to find out we need to consider like you know uh, some of the electrons right here whatever concentration present here you can see n minus l at x is equal to minus l right okay so here at this position x is equal to minus l few electrons must be moving towards the right and few electrons must be moving towards the um, left so when I said few electrons moving right, few electrons moving left, how I can say like what, how many electrons will actually move towards the right and how many electrons will move towards the left, right? Because here there is no external applied uh, field. So random, uh, you know, these electrons are having some thermal velocity at a certain temperature, right? Greater than uh, what? 0 Kelvin right or uh, for room temperature if I will take T is equal to 300 Kelvin right. So at T is 300 Kelvin all these electrons are moving actually randomly with a velocity known as thermal velocity V thermal right. So here as they are moving randomly if I will say how many are moving towards left and towards right we can say like you know the probability of moving towards uh, left um, is 50 percent and the probability of these uh, concentration of electron n minus l here okay moving towards right is also 50 percent right so if i will uh, take n minus l is the concentration of the electron at x is equal to minus l right then half of this concentration n minus l 
will be moving towards the right and half of this the same n minus l um, will moving towards the left right but we need to find out how many electrons net electrons actually passing crossing this x is equal to 0 plane right similarly at x is equal to plus l the concentration is n plus l so we can say the same way like you know half of the electron concentration is moving towards you know uh, this uh, right direction rightward and half of will move uh, towards left now we are not concerned about this uh, this part because our reference plane is x is equal to 0 so we need to see how many electron actually will pass this x is equal to 0 plane right so again uh, putting the random velocity because you know uh, when uh, you are considering the thermal velocity of electrons they are moving in all random direction so any random direction can be resolved into components so horizontal component we need to see and then see uh, how many electrons are actually moving in plus x and how many uh, electrons are moving in minus x so here if you will see this is the concentration n plus l so half of n plus l n l or n plus l that is we took will move towards right and half of it will move towards the left right so here if you will see at x is equal to 0 plane at x is equal to 0 plane how many electrons okay are actually moving in the forward direction or in this direction right if i want to find out that i need to take the you know um, find out the net rate of electron flow in the positive x direction at x is equal to zero plane right so what okay now if you will substitute the value of fn that you determined okay so j is equal to current density is minus e fn okay let me just write it for uh, electron so i will put uh, n subscript over here that can be written as e times v t h substituting the value for f n l d n by d x okay so this is what we got now this v t h and l v t h and l okay thermal velocity and what is that l okay what is that l actually here you can see this is x is equal to 0 and this is x is equal to plus l and x is equal to minus l okay so here this distance l is actually what what is this l distance we considered okay this l is actually known as the mean free path mean free path of the electron of the electron so what do you mean by mean free path of the electron that is you know the, the distance that is average distance traveled by the electron before undergoing collision suppose you know here there is one electron and another electron is moving right and another electron is moving from some other side okay the average distance traveled by this electron before undergoing the collision okay so that can be defined as this l okay which is known as the mean free path then how you can write actually what is the relationship i mean um, what is l and uh, you know if you remember we had discussed in mobility tau c n okay tau c n and tau c p these two terms we considered where, where we said these are the relaxation time of the electrons and the holes so tau is for time uh, c for collision and n uh, for electron tau similarly here for i mean for time c for collision and p for hole so what is the maximum time okay uh, the electron can exist before undergoing um, a collision right so this gives you the relaxation time right so similarly uh, so for uh, thermal velocity if you write thermal velocity is actually nothing but what thermal velocity can be written as the distance covered which is the mean free path divided by tau c n this is actually the relationship okay so you can also write i mean l is equal to v thermal multiplied with tau c n this way okay this way fine so here this v t h and l we will define a new physical quantity for this and this v t h l we will write as v t h multiplied with l we will write it as a new physical quantity known as electron diffusion coefficient i am writing it for electron so we will write it as electron diffusion coefficient diffusion coefficient this is a measure of you know diffusion of uh, the electrons okay uh, 
um uh, uh, in in a, in a semiconductor in a semiconductor right the same way you can write it for hole same thing can be repeated and you can write um jp for example i am writing uh, for the whole uh, diffusion current density you can write it as minus e dp dp by dx okay minus e dp dp by dx because you know here the current you got a negative sign here because you know your current density for hole if you write this is e times fp but for uh, electron you got jn is equal to minus e times fn so this is the difference that's why you got a positive sign here for jn you got e dn dn by dx and here you got minus e dp dp by dx so one thing you need to focus on these equations that is dp by dx and dn by dx dn by dx and dp by dx these are nothing but the variation of concentration with respect to distance right variation of electron or hole concentrations electron or hole concentrations concentrations uh, with respect to distance with respect to distance you can see the dx value here, dp by dx dn by dx and this dp and dn these are the diffusion coefficient for electron uh, for hole and electron right so uh, vth times l okay vth times l here if you are writing l l is the mean free path for electron if it is for electron then you will write dn and if it is uh, this okay let me just write uh, electron then this and v thermal for uh, electron here v thermal for hole and uh, mean free path for the hole okay this multiplication will give you dp diffusion coefficient so here two things you need to remember that is the variation of electron and hole concentrations with respect to distance so that depends upon the doping profile or you know how many electrons are distributed uh, with respect to the distance right and then the diffusion coefficient which depends upon the thermal um, uh, velocity uh, which is a parameter that depends upon the temperature and of course the mean free path um, of the electrons and holes right okay so the total uh, diffusion current density now we can write by just you know adding these you know both uh, electron and hole uh, diffusion current so j diffusion if i will write the total current density then we can just add these two terms one is because of the electron which we got sorry which we got e dn dn by dx and the other term we got minus e dp dp by dx okay similarly if you remember this is for diffusion current density for drift if you remember for drift we also derived e n mu n okay and the applied electric field in one dimension if you are saying it's better to write e x only one dimensional electric field plus e p mu p that is mobility of holes mobility of electrons here and the one dimensional applied electric field e x right now if you want to write the total current density just take the sum of all these four terms okay that is written yeah so that will give us the total current density okay which is the sum of drift current um, and diffusion current drift current is again you will have both the components contributed by electron and the holes similarly diffusion of electrons and diffusion of holes both will contribute to the total current density so in case you got a graded impurity distribution in a semiconductor with an applied electric field you have to consider all these terms right diffusion and also the drift drift current okay so both the components so all four terms should be taken into consideration right so here one thing you need to keep in mind mobility gives an indication of how well a charge carrier moves in a semiconductor as a result of the electric field the external electric field applied and diffusion coefficient which we defined as dn and dp okay um, gives an indication of how well a charge carrier moves in a semiconductor as a result of density gradient okay density gradient that means the variation in the concentration right uh, with respect to the distance okay thank you for watching this is it for the, today's video